Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back to my kitchen laboratory. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, the food delivery service that brings fresh ingredients right to your doorstep so that you can make a meal in about 30 minutes. HelloFresh saves you a ton of time. There are quick and easy recipes that bring a meal on the table in 20 minutes with low prep and easy cleanup options. Speaking of options, there are tons of them. There are family friendly, calorie smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian options. And to welcome fall, HelloFresh has a bunch of autumnal options, including savory sides and autumn themed desserts like mini pumpkin cheesecakes, pumpkin cinnamon rolls, and spice lattes. One of the things I like most about HelloFresh is that there are so many options. It's a great way to break out of recipe ruts and it reduces a lot of stress when it comes to meal planning. My family's favorite recipe for this week was a new one for us and it's the apricot almond and chickpea tagine. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link down below or head over to hellofresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE14 to receive 14 free meals, including free shipping. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. So today I am wearing my lab coat because we're going to be exploring a little bit of kitchen science. Actually, all of cooking technically is kitchen science, but today I just felt like wearing my lab coat and we're going to be talking about heat capacity. So I thought the coat was appropriate. <laughs> Today I'm going to be cooking an egg. I have lots of egg recipes, but this one has an unconventional means of cooking. I'm going to be cooking it in a plastic bag. I saw a video going around of a sweet little Chinese woman cooking a meal using a shopping bag. And it reminded me of that wonderful science experiment where you can boil water in a paper cup. And this is a demonstration of heat capacity. A simplified explanation of heat capacity is a substance ability to absorb heat. And for water, it takes a lot of energy. Why is that significant? Well, the earth is covered with a lot of water. I believe 70% of the earth is covered with water and its ability to hang on to heat or be difficult to heat up is really important to our environment and creating the balance of homeostasis on this planet. At any rate, it's very fascinating and we're going to demonstrate water's high heat capacity by cooking an egg in a plastic bag filled with water. Because we have water in there, the water is going to absorb much of that energy, protecting the plastic or paper from the flames. So in fact, what will happen is the water will come to a boil at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees centigrade, and after 10 minutes, we should have a perfectly hard boiled egg. Isn't this exciting? I've never done this before. I remember seeing the science experiment of the boiling water in a cup, and, and now I, I finally get to see this happen, and I get to have a little snack as well. So let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> so I built a little rig here out of some scraps I found in the garage. And basically we're going to suspend our bag above a heat source. Now I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube. I'll put links down below to the ones I watched where they cooked an egg in a bag over some coals. I've seen some actually over a candle as well. So the inspiration for today's video was a video of a little tiny cute little granny cooking a meal in a plastic bag. She was using a shopping bag. Now what I found really frustrating about that video is they didn't show the finished results. They didn't show the cooked meal. They just showed her putting things in the bag and the bag being over a flame and the bag not melting or igniting, but it didn't show the finished product. Now I have to say I'm a little bit skeptical about those videos because the amount of water she had in that shopping bag was probably about a gallon of water and the amount of time and energy it would take for that to come to a boil would be significant. In other videos I watched on hard boiling an egg using this technique, they used far less water and it makes a lot of sense. It takes a lot less energy to heat up the amount of water and you really don't need much. You just need enough to surround the egg. An ordinary plastic veggie bag, I put water in it already to make sure that it didn't have any leaks. And thread it through the other side. Now we're gonna add our water. Gently place our egg into the water. There goes our egg into the water. There it is, suspended in the water. Now we're going to ignite this. Here we go. Mm. <gasps> it, 
I think I did my flame a little too high. Tilt the bag like this so that the egg is in the corner of the bag. And I'm also trying to narrow the profile because any of the plastic that's not insulated by the water will melt. Alrighty, let's ignite this. We're gonna put this on low heat, low heat. Oh, I already have a leak. All right, we gotta try this again. Alrighty, moment of truth. I'm gonna turn on the heat and lower it and just bring it right underneath our egg. Oh, it's melting right there. All right, I'm gonna reconfigure my bag here because I've sprung a leak. I really want this to work. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to reconsider my heat source. I think this might be a little bit too strong. Let's see. I'm putting it on the lowest heat possible underneath my plastic bag. All right, so far the plastic is holding. Alrighty, so far so good. Come on, egg. We just want you to boil and cook. Just to really prove my point, I'm going to put a flame right underneath that. See that? It's not melting or burning. It's because of the heat capacity of water. So stinking cool. And lovelies, I made the mistake of bringing my heat closer to my rig, and now I've sprung a leak. Curses! My thermometer says that I got this to 123 degrees. I just needed another 90 degrees before I got it to boiling, but couldn't wait, couldn't wait. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Aren't you glad I'm doing this and not you? Yep. Another plastic bag. I'm gonna recycle my hot water. And slide this under. Try this again. So far, so good. Please work. Come on, heat capacity, come on. And I've got a big fat hole right here. It's just, it's just going right down my, uh, onto my countertop. Dripping, right there. <laughs> All right, let's try turning it this way and uh, seeing if that works. We still have another 100 degrees before this even comes to a boil. Um, yeah, I have to say, I, I, I don't have a lot of faith that this is gonna work. Hi lovelies, I'm back. It's been another 10 minutes. I got my water up to 164 degrees and I've sprung yet another leak. Now, I think a couple things might be going wrong here. Maybe I'm not using the right type of plastic. Maybe my flame is too hot. When I saw this done in some videos, they had it done over some low charcoal. So maybe I need a charcoal situation. Um, I don't know, but this, this stovetop thing is not working. I'm very disappointed by it. Um, I'm just leaking water all over my countertop. Okay, so I'll go get yet another plastic bag and see how we might remedy this situation. Oh. So I think the main problem here is that my heat source is very direct and very concentrated. So in order to minimize its concentrative effects, I've come up with this little method of just moving the bag this way and then sliding it this way, moving it this way and moving it that way. I've been doing this for quite a while now, I'd say at least a half an hour. So I did not get the water to come up to a boil, but it is at 180 degrees. So that's plenty hot. A half an hour is a long time. So I'm gonna call this egg done. And if it's not, we're gonna find out, aren't we? <laughs> let's, let's do this. Okay. The water is steaming though. The water is piping hot. So there, there is that. I'm getting strange flashbacks to a ginger milk pudding. Yeah, ginger milk pudding. God. I sure hope this works. Okay. Water's definitely hot and held it there for a while. So here's the egg into the water and uh, let's spin it. So if it spins nice and tight, then it's cooked. 
this is a raw egg and that does not spin the moment of truth let's see it feels good <laughs> i think i think we did it just very gently cook though it's like a coddled egg <laughs> So I'm not surprised because we did not get the water up to boiling, but this was in hot water for quite some time, probably 45 minutes or so. The longest time I've ever taken to cook an egg, but it is cooked. Look at it. I'll put a little bit of salt on that, a little bit of pepper. <laughs> Here we go. It's actually lovely. Beautiful coddled egg. The yolk is actually pretty nicely done, nice and creamy. Yes, it only took like 45 minutes. <laughs> Beautiful. Alrighty, itadakimasu. Delicious, creamy, eggy, it's actually the perfect, perfect egg. I'm so happy. <laughs> it just took a really long time. A really long time. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. That's a delicious egg. It took a long time and I had several bag changes, but nonetheless, I was still able to cook an egg in a plastic bag and demonstrate heat capacity. <laughs> so confirmed, you can definitely cook an egg in a plastic bag of water over a flame. It is very tricky and tedious to get the temperature and the positioning correct. I think if you were to try this, I would say use a different heat source than I did. Charcoal is what I saw demonstrated in some of the other videos I watched. I think that heat distribution is a little bit more even than just a burner like mine. Another suggestion might be to use a little bit more water than I use so that you have more heat capacity, although it'll take you even longer just to get that water up to temperature. Uh, another suggestion is just try it because it's fun. Try it to experiment. Try it just to see and try it so that you can just get yourself a beautifully cooked egg <laughs> that you can eat in five bites, but it'll be the most delicious egg you've ever had because you went through a lot of effort to cook it. <laughs> thanks once again for joining me in my laboratory and big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link down below or go to hellofresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE14 to receive 14 free meals, including free shipping. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. your eggs in a pot don't even bother with the plastics you know just don't bother but don't tell emmy that because then you know she'd be like what's with the experiment <laughs> <laughs>